Father. This is uh, Sergeant Bernard Johnson. Yes, from the Nine Police Post. Yes, madam, I have an information for you concerning a missing little girl. Yes. She said her name is uh, Miss Adobe Opala. Yes, about 13 zero zero hours. My name on patrol picked her uh, in an abandoned shop and brought her to the station. Yes, she's right here in the station with us. Yes, madam, you can come right away and pick her up. No, 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 ah, she's all right, there's no problem. I will be expecting you. Okay, ah, thank you, madam. Yes, thank you, bye-bye. Okay. that you want to die on his neck, do you? I can take it easy, little girl. She has really been through a lot. Uh-huh. She, yes. she chose to. She chose to. She has a home. She has a caring father, food and shelter. Yes, she chose to suffer. You want to run away and die. That is what you want, Abby. Calm down, it's all right. No, what has she asked for that we haven't provided for her? It's all eh? right. It's all right. Just calm down. Oh, sir, thank you very much. Yes. Let me just sign the necessary paper and I'll take my daughter. Come on, Brian. Come on. 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 Okay, go with your family. Eh? Be a good girl. Madam, don't be that too much. Officer, thank you. Yes. Is that all? Yes, but uh, you should ensure that you take proper care of her. I will. She's my daughter. Okay. Alright. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Look, everybody knows you were born with a sorry face, eh? A face that cries all the time, so don't think you can join my kids with those tears of yours. Anybody who walks in here now say, hey, hey, Momole wow. God knows the wrong they have done to this child in this world. This little did not know that you're a wicked witch. Yes, a devil with a black heart. Esther, it's okay. Let's go into our room. We've upset yourself enough. No, it's not okay. Sometimes it's good to talk to these children. Yes, let them know that you're smart. Before they think they're the only wise ones in this world. Yes, it's enough. Leave her alone. It's enough. Leave her alone. Come, my dear. Listen to me. Hmm? Very soon, all the pampering in this house, all the spoiling, will stop. You know why? <laughs> because my own baby is coming. Yes. Your father's baby. Hmm? And when this dear little darling comes, it will be loved cherished and valued way, way above you. You know, no? Little witch. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! What are you doing? Come, come inside! Think 
Maybe this is the devil's intent. My guess is that I can think about your life, eh? Very good. Let's go inside. I think it's about time Junior came back to this house. Why? I have a feeling Mama is spoiling that boy. Yes. I know her very well. She will not let him touch a thing. And I'm sure you want that boy to grow up a man. To be strong and be able to shoulder responsibilities. Am I right? <laughs> yes, of course. Good. Go and bring him back here. Let him come and help out in the house church. It's true. I mean, look at me now. I'm too heavy. Cannot move around like I used to. I need help out here. He can help out in washing of plates, clothes, whatever. Before he turns into a lazy bone in that village. How soon do you want him to come? Soon. Very soon. In fact, maybe you have to travel first thing in the morning to the village. What? Yes, now, why not? Tomorrow is Saturday. This is sudden. So? Okay. Okay. Bring him up. Eric. Tired. How's the baby doing? Doing pretty well. <sighs> Cannot wait to give birth though. Let me hold my own junior in my arms. <laughs> My first daughter Gloria died, and her younger sister Esther shamelessly took over her husband. <clears throat> Both of them abandoned their children. Brothers of my late husband. Yes. Did I not call you people and report the matter to you? Did I not? You did. You did, bro. You did, our wife. You did. Naya mm Mechi. -hmm. When you returned from Lagos the other day, with yes. the sad news that Adobe was missing. Did we not sit together and discuss it? And I prepared to go to Lagos in search of my granddaughter. That is true. <clears throat> now I can no longer make my journey to Lagos. Kenneth is here. And he says Adobe has been found. Oh, uh, Chukwe. Thank God. Uh, uh, but he says that he wants to take Junior with him. And that Adobe will also stay back in Lagos. Junior is his son. And I cannot withhold him from going with him. But, brothers of my late husband, Kenneth must promise to care, yes. protect, yes. and cater for Junior and Adobe. Properly. Mm -hmm. Else, I will withhold my grandson and dare him to call me before the elders of his village. Yes, you are right. <coughs> Kenneth. You have had your mother-in-law. We will allow you go with Junior. If you give your word, never to maltreat him. Nine. Junior is my son. I know. I need not make any promises before I treat him like my son. Need I? You must promise. There is need. And you must call upon your dead wife, Gloria, to witness the promise, or else we will not release him. Yes. Junior is in his maternal home. And traditionally, this is his home. Yes. Wagaban. 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 Okay. I promise to take care of Junior. And to be a father to him in every way. Call Gloria's name. Call her to witness to your promise. Mm -hmm. Yes. I will not. Mm -hmm. I will not. It's fetish. Mm -hmm. Gloria is dead. And how apostle to rest in peace. Kenneth. Peace? Mm -hmm. Did you say peace? Gloria mm -hmm. is not resting in peace. Yes. 
when she was killed with poison. How can she rest in peace? Peace? I see her in my dream every day. Look, as long as you are, you are married to Esther, and Gloria's children cry out for lack of love, Gloria's soul can never rest in peace. I'm not going with you now. I'm not going with you. In absence of the promise, I'm afraid you have to go without Junior. Yes. Please. Please. Okay. I call on my late wife, Gloria, to witness to my promise. To take care of Junior yes, in every fatherly way. Yes, now you are talking. Come on, Junior. you swept and dusted the sitting room today or not? I dusted it after sweeping it. Yeah. How come I can still feel some grains of sand under my feet? Yet, you dusted it. I swept it. Hey, sh shut up. Come on, you down there. You down there. Come, come. If you think you can bring those lies they've taught you in the village to this house, then you're joking. Hmm? Come on, raise your hand. And, and don't look at me. Ta. Honey, we're back. Hello, sweetie. What's going on? Junior! Yeah! Wait. Adobe! Adobe, will you come back here? Oh, leave them alone and come and give me a hug. They've not seen each other in a long time. Eh, uh -huh, so? Is that where she should get up from her punishment? They've not seen themselves for just seven days and they're hugging. Who knows what will happen when they see their late mother they've not seen for over a year. Mm. Anyways, you won't see her again. She's dead. And gone. I'm going to let him I'll make sure you sweep and dust his face again. Come to bed. Come and call to me soon. No, darling. I'm sorry. Why? I have to go out so early so I can drop off Adobe and Junior at school before going to work. You are spoiling this, children. I can. 
They are old enough to take care of themselves. They can go to school by themselves. Eh? I don't think can trek, for Christ's sake. Or maybe she enters a bus or whatever. Okay. If Adobe can trek, what about Junior? The better for him. It will make his bones strong. Don't you know? Let me talk to Mr. It won't cost me anything. Please, this is what you want, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go 
Let's pray first. Mm, Gina, pray for us. Mama, Jesus. Amen. Lord, I'll cover this food in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> did you go to Judas class? Did you see his teacher? You did. What she say? Nothing. Nothing. What she say about his performance? Is he doing well? Hey, Junior. Are you going to come first in your class? You come first in your class. You come first in your class. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> mm. 
How are you? Fine. And how was the day? Not bad. How was work? Uh, we well, thank God. Uh, yes. Uh, what about Dobie and Junior? Didn't you hear me? The man comes back from work and the first people he asks after are the children of a dead woman. Can't you ask how your baby is doing in here? Eh? Before you start asking for your junior and Adobe. Okay. How is baby? Baby is fine. Yes. Kicking as usual. Good. Mm -hmm. Now can I ask of my other children? They are in the kitchen. I asked them to make soup. Soup? Those kids? Hadba. Honey, stop seeing these children as kids. They are not kids. You will spoil them, oh. Yeah. Oh, is Adobe not old enough to make soup? And what is wrong if Junior helps her out? So big deal. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think you're right. I but I hope you do it well. <sighs> Come on, Benjamin. I need to want to dress. Adobe does not come to soup well, do it? Come on, don't talk like that. You don't have a good soup for them, maybe. I need enough money because I don't want that anything cheap. Can I do it? Just drop the list and we'll take it from there. Hey, Adobe, good afternoon. Have a good afternoon. Junior, good afternoon. I hope you cooked it well. Juju, <laughs> assistant cook. <laughs> Don't worry, let me taste the food, eh? Ken, you're playing too much with these children. Very soon, all of you will tell me. Then, this is an asset. What is this? Soup, eh? What? I cook you no fena. Eh? What is this? Is this not water and oil combined? Water on this side, oil on this side. Eh? See your children. Cook! It's not me you will poison. I don't know. You and Junior should come together. Okay? Yeah. Instead of you to scold these children, a pig like Adobe cannot cook soup, you're sending them to go to. Which room? Will you wait there? Esther, let, let them be. be. Let them be, they're just kids. What is that supposed to mean? If you want to spoil them, I will. You're not there! What you have refused to learn, you will learn it to do. They are just kids. Let them be. You're standing there looking at me, okay? You can play with me. Kneel down there. Eh, okay, you decide to go there. This is okay. You decide to go there. You decide to go there. What's the matter with you? It's okay. It's. Look, look. Take it easy. 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 What's the matter with you? How can you pick someone in your condition? How can you? How can you disrespect me? An innocent girl for that matter. No, Esther, listen. You cannot hate my children. I will not allow that. It's bad enough that they've lost their mother. I will not stand by and watch them go through pain again. I will not. Go, no, let's go. Let's yes, go. Baby. If let's I cook, you will eat. Cook, let me eat. With my tender for you. Yes, yes it's okay. Let's what go. You're fighting my no one's poisoning the baby. Let's go. <laughs> Let me see. Adobe, answer the question. Give me a sentence 
with the word mother. Stand up, the class is waiting. Come, let's go to the staff room. So you tell me why you're crying, all right? Yes. Come out and teach the class. Teach them on the uses of now. I'm coming, all right? You people should do it now. I know your name. I know where you live. I need your help. Help? Who are you? And how may I be of help to you? I am the crying mother of two lovely children. A boy and a girl. My house is on fire. And I need you to go and put up that fire for me. Your house is burning. Take this water. Go and put up the fire in my house before it burns my children to death. Take. Take it. Oh God. 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 myself have been living with my father and Aunt Esther. She's now my father's wife and she's very, very wicked to us. And your father says nothing when she maltreats you? My father gets very angry, but Aunt Esther voice down, go, 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 and my father will keep quiet. Auntie, yes? could you imagine? She flogs us when my father is not around. Then when my father is around, she gives us meat. And Tessa is wicked, I don't like her. No, don't say that, okay? God said we should not hate anybody. So you must like your auntie. Did you hear me? Yes, but I don't like her. Me too. It's okay. I'll come and talk to your father. So now both of you should go back to your classes. Break is almost over. Auntie, thank you for the snacks. Don't worry. Auntie, what is your name? <laughs> My name is Auntie Trisha Chupuka. But you can call me Trisha. Auntie Trish, I like you. I like you too. Huh? So now, come, let me take you to your classes. Put on the light, put it on, put on the light, quick. Quick, quick, quick. 
אז תדבר עם סטטיק. כן. מה? כן. There is nobody else in this room except you and me. You're not crying. I'm definitely not crying. So nobody's crying in this room. Don't make me look like an idiot. I know what I'm saying. I heard the sound of sobbing in this room. I know what I'm saying. It, it, it was so clear. It must have been in your dream. Let's go back to sleep. I'm tired. Kenneth, you want to see Mr. Kenneth? Is he expecting you? Yes, madam. I sent word through the kids. Through the kids? Yes. Uh, yeah. So, who are you? And what could you possibly want with my husband? I'm Miss Trisha Chukuka. I teach at St. Mark's Northern Primary School. I'm Adobe's teacher. Mm. Yes. What can I do for you? I wish to speak with Mr. Kenneth concerning Adobe. What about Adobe? Um, let's just say she has not be too fantastic with her studies at all. Her grades are really getting low every day. <laughs> hey, is that why you're here? Mm. How would her grades get low? Why won't it when every time she comes back from school she's busy playing? Playing! If that's why you're here, wait. Tell her father yourself. Hold on. Tell me! Thank you. Ken! Come and hear your daughter's grace. And have me grace. Yeah? So, in a nutshell, Mr. Bala, the children are not happy at all. And it's affecting them negatively in all spheres of their lives. Socially, educationally and even psychologically. These children are living in perpetual fear of their stepmother. And if you don't do anything to change this, they might end up growing to hate. There's an old saying that goes this way, teach a child to fear, and he learns to hate and to lie. Miss Trisha, I, I cannot thank you enough for coming, but I want to assure you that I will address this issue, and I know a lasting solution to my kids' problems will be found. Then you better do it quickly, before their innocent minds are polluted with so much hatred. Don't worry. It won't come to that. Then rise up and be their father. Always protect your children. And I'll also advise you to get them a lesson teacher to teach them at home. I'd like to take my leave now. Of 
Thank you very much. Goodbye, Miss Trisha. Just feel free to drop by anytime and say hello to us. Thank you very much. I gave that woman access to you only because she wanted to complain about your daughter's performance in school. So please, what sort of private conversation were you people having outside for so long? Sit down, Esther, and listen. You're destroying my children, and now it's affecting their studies. Eh, oh, 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 oh. So that is what that lying, two-timing, totally untrustworthy one teacher came to tell you, eh? Look, I am in no mood for a shouting match, Esther. I'm in no mood for a shouting match. I am going. I'm going to see my children. It's high time I made them feel wanted in this house. Hmm. Going, going where? Uh, where, where? Where do you think you're going? My dear, you are not going anywhere. Not while I'm like this. Not while I'm carrying your own child. Esther, leave the way. Which way? Let me pass. I have to see my children. For what? Look, don't, don't let me manhandle you. Man don't let me manhandle yeah. you. Mad Hugin, this is what? If you not manhandling, eh, come on and handle me. Uh, Esther, do it some Esther, more. be Nonsense. careful. No, do be it careful. Some more. Do I blame you? Manhandle me. Come on, manhandle You're not going anywhere, Ken. Mm -mm. Not to see which children. What is this? Picking. No, Esther, say. let me pass. My dad! Eh, 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 Ken, be closer. Be closer. Esther, be very careful. I try, hmm? Be very careful. I am being very careful. Not going anywhere. Which children? Children of a dead woman. Is, what, what, what you are disturbing me about? <laughs> Ada. 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 My love. You want to see Mr. Kenneth? Is he expecting you? Yes, madam. I sent word through the kids. Through the kids? Yes. Ah. Yeah. So, who are you? And what could you possibly want with my husband? I'm Miss Trisha Chukuka. I teach at St. Mark's Nursery Primary School. I'm a dogist teacher. Mm. Yes. What can I do for you? I wish to speak with Mr. Kenneth concerning Adobe. What about Adobe? Um, let's just say she has not been too fantastic with her studies at all. Her grades are really getting low every day. <laughs> hey, is that why you're here? Mm. How would her grades get low? Why won't it when every time she comes back from school she's busy playing? Playing! If that's why you're here, wait. Tell her father yourself. Hold on. Kenny! Thank you. Ken! Come and hear your daughter's grades. Fantastic grades. Yeah. So, in a nutshell, Mr. Bala, the children are not happy at all. And it's affecting them negatively in all spheres of their lives. Socially, educationally, and even psychologically. These children are living in perpetual fear of their stepmother. And if you don't do anything to change this, they might end up growing to hate. 
there's an old saying that goes this way, teach a child to fear, and he learns to hate and to lie. Miss Tricia, I, I cannot thank you enough for coming, but I want to assure you that I will address this issue, and I know a lasting solution to my kids' problems will be found. Then you better do it quickly, before their innocent minds are polluted with so much hatred. Don't worry. It won't come to that. Then rise up and be their father. Always protect your children. And I'll also advise you to get them a lesson teacher to teach them at home. Goodbye, Miss Trisha. Just feel free to drop by anytime and say hello to us. Thank you very much. I gave that woman access to you only because she wanted to complain about your daughter's performance in school. So please, what sort of private conversation were you people having outside for so long? Sit down Esther, and listen. You're destroying my children and now it's affecting their studies. Eh, oh, 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 oh. So that is what that lying, two-timing, totally untrustworthy one teacher came to tell you, eh? What? Look, I am in no mood for a shouting match, Esther. I'm in no mood for a shouting match. I am going. I'm going to see my children. It's high time I made them feel wanted in this house. Hmm. Going, going where? Uh, where, where? Where do you think you're going, my dear? You're not going anywhere. Not while I'm like this. Not while I'm carrying your own child. Esther, leave the way. Which way? Let me pass. I have to see my children. For what? Look, don't, don't let me manhandle you. Man don't let me manhandle yeah. you. Mad Guggen, this is what? Is this not manhandling? Eh, come on and handle me. Uh, Esther, do it Esther. Nonsense. be careful. Do, no, do be it careful. Somehow. Do I blame you? Manhandle me. Come on, man. You're not going anywhere, Ken. Mm -mm. Not to see which children. What is this? Picking. Look, no, Esther, let me pass. My friend! Eh, 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 Ken, be closer. Be closer. Esther, Achor. be very careful. Achor, hmm? Be very careful. I am being very careful. Not going anywhere. Which children? Children of a dead woman. Is, what, what you are disturbing me about? <laughs> Everywhere. Kenneth, I have been with you everywhere. Yeah. Let's go home. You can't take me home, Kenneth. Take that teacher home. And don't be looking for me. Look for that teacher. That way, Dobie and Junior will be happier. I know. Gloria. Gloria, don't go away. Gloria. 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 What is it? I, I saw Gloria in my dream. You saw who? How will you not see her in your dream? She's not a witch. 
Hey, don't wake me up like that. She's under observation right now with the midwives. We're waiting for the baby to turn and say, finally, I am ready to come out. And then it will be okay. So don't worry, everything is all right. Hmm? Your wife is in good hands. I trust you, doctor. Trust me in the world. How is my wife? Well, she's still in labor. But, but the doctor said she, she will put to bed very soon. I brought her by 7.30 a.m. and now it's 4.45 p.m. More than 10 hours. That's not so soon. Um, huh? She'll be fine. Calm down. She's progressing. to arrive until probably later this evening. Doctor. Yes. That's another 12 hours or more. Exactly. And that's why I'm suggesting you go home, freshen up and see your kids. 
I'm sure they slept alone in the house. I, I guess you're right. Can I come and see my wife now? I don't think that would be a good idea. You're the last person she wants to see. In her pain, she's been cursing and using a lot of swear words and foul language on you. She says she doesn't want to see you. But not to worry. That's usually the case with women in her condition. So take it easy. Go home and freshen up. Okay? Thank you, Doctor. seems to be normal. Okay, her cervix dilation comes up to 8 cm and just before it gets to 10 cm, it mysteriously falls back to 2 cm. I can't just explain it. Doctor, is there nothing you can do? Nothing at all? I'm afraid we may lose the baby unless we operate. I may have to carry out a caesarean operation on her. What have I done? And Mr. Ken, Mr. Ken, take it easy. Who knows? She may put to bed before the operation. I want to tell you that she's been very strong. So please take it easy. Okay? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You two look happy today. I hope things are getting better now. And Tesla is not there again. Oh. She has been in the hospital giving birth. When did she go? Mm, about four days now. And my daddy is with her. Oh my god. So who has been cooking for you people since? Nobody. 
Daddy gives us money to buy meat pie every day. That is what we have been eating. And I want my mother to come and cook food for me. Adobe. Yes, Auntie. Tell me how your mother looked like. She was very pretty. And I thought I always tell her that she had a small, fine nose. Was she tall? Yes. Does she have a chocolate complexion? Yes. Oh, I see. You describe my mother so well. Maybe, do you know my mother? Oh, don't worry. When I get home and change, I'll come and see your father. Hmm? Okay. Come, let's go. I see your wife in my dreams and she keeps telling me intimate things about you and your family. Things like what? Like, she told me you liked stockfish and fried chicken a lot. And she told me she wore a green dress the day you paid her bride price. She told me something else. She told me the day you bought her a new car that she gave you a pet name. Um, um, Mogambo. My, my wife died of food poisoning over a year ago. And? N never mind, never mind. I guess I should go now. Trisha, please. My children have not eaten anything apart from snacks for the past four days. Can you kindly cook us something before you go? No, I'm so sorry. I'm not prepared for that right now. Maybe some other time. I'm so sorry. Please, for the sake of my children, not my sake. Please. Okay, all right. Here is what I'll do. I'll do the cooking in my house, then bring them the food later. No problem. When I come, I'll take their dirty clothes with me so that I could wash them. I don't know. I just feel closer to the children. Especially since I stay having dreams of their mother. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Bala. What? Tell me about your wife. Esther. No, Adobe's mother. What kind of a woman was she? Gloria. Yes. Gloria. She was the kindest, meekest, most gentle soul I've ever known. We were a perfect match. Hand in glove. She was. A... Hydrocortisone immediately.
Mr. Ken. Doctor. Good news is that your wife is alive. Thank God. But I'm afraid the baby didn't make it. I'm sorry. You see, your wife experienced severe labor pains five hours to the operation. So we had to reschedule. And then two hours later, the baby arrived. But it was already dead. At least your wife is hale and hearty and will be fit to go home soon. No. My, 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 my baby died. Take it easy. Doctor, I want to see my wife. She is asleep right now and she needs a lot of rest. Doctor, I want to see my wife. Please, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll take you there. Ah! 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 Ah!
You both look sweet and well groomed. I sent to Trisha is taking very good care of you. Daddy, mm -hmm. and Trisha bought him a story book. Me too. Is this yours? Yes. Where is yours? Thank you, Trisha. Oh no, it's nothing. Ada. Yes, Junior. Yes, Daddy. Why don't you go play in your room? And Trisha and Daddy need to discuss something. Okay, Dad. Junior, let's go. Okay. And Trisha, later. All right, my dear, later. Hmm? Trisha, please come over. My children have taken to you. They like you a lot. Trisha, as I'm talking to you right now, my wife Esther has mysteriously gone blind. What? After seeing Gloria, my late wife, in her dream. Dad, I'm so sorry. The hospital cannot find any natural cause of her blindness. Trisha. Yes? You told me that you see my late wife Glory in your dreams. And I believe you. Because only she could have told you all the intimate things about her family, which you now know. I see Glory in my dreams. And she tells me that you are the one to care for the children. <laughs> Those things are strange. <clears throat> They've left me so confused. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Trisha, I want to know what you think about these dreams. I don't know. I'm confused too. I mean, a woman I never knew when she was alive visits me in my dreams. And she's so friendly to me. I advise you to get prayerful, just as myself, because I believe so much in prayers. Thank you. Thank you for looking after my children. What? 
Somebody is. Somebody is in my way. Who is this? Who, who is it? Who is this? Esther, there is nobody else in this house except you and me. No. There is somebody blocking my way. I know. Somebody there is nobody there. I know what I am saying. I can't see anybody. There is nobody in this house. Somebody. Somebody is blocking me. Come on, let's let's go. Come on. Okay. Take me to my room. No, no, just relax no, a moment. I, I, relax a moment. Come on, sit down. There's nobody there. There's nobody on this seat. I can't see anybody. I know what I am saying. Somebody is on this seat. Esther, you're hallucinating. There is nobody there. Gloria, she doesn't want me in this house. There is nobody there. You can't see it? I can see there's nobody there. Gloria! Look. You see, nobody's in this house except you and me. She's gone. She's gonna take me to my house. Take me to my house! Easy, easy, easy. Look, I'll come on, let's go. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Is my daddy going to marry you? Uh -uh. Whatever made you think like that? I mean, who told you that? Nobody. It's just that since mommy died, daddy has not been close to any woman except Auntie Esther. And he married her. Now he's close to you. Maybe he'll marry you too. Listen, Adobe. Your father does not have to marry every single woman he gets close to. Hmm? Yes. I want my father to marry you. <laughs> you want your father to marry me? Hmm? <laughs> okay, don't worry. Hmm? I will not only marry your father, but I will also marry you. Sure you like it like that? Okay. Just drink up. Hmm? There's nobody else in this room. Gloria is in this room, Ken. Gloria is in this room. She's, she's hunting me. Sh shut up, Esther. Shut up. I want to sleep. Look, if you have a problem with ghosts, better go and settle it with them. Leave me to sleep.
She is getting worse by the day, and I don't know what to do. She'll just jack up in the middle of the night, screaming that somebody else is in the room. That the ghost of my late wife, Gloria, is haunting her, attacking her. Have you told the doctor? I have, but even the doctor seems confused. Yeah. Yeah. Ken, where are you? I'm outside. Ken, where are you talking to? A visitor, Adobe's teacher. Who? Adobe's what? Hey, sorry, eh? Yeah. So who is this? It's me, Trisha. <laughs> Trisha, eh? <laughs> what? So, you're the one who wants to take over my household. Eh, pa? Eh? You're the one they have assigned to chase me out of this house. Okay. It's all good. I hear you take good care of the children. You wash their clothes. You comb their hair. You cook their food. You... Nkewa, nkewa, in short. You do it all. Mmm. God knows which one you want to be. A wife or a house girl. Esther, stop it. Mm. Stop it right now. Okay. I want to go home. I am tired. Mm? Gloria will not let me rest. She's giving me hell. And I don't want it anymore. I want to go. So please, take me back to the village. Before you people chase me away, I want to go home by myself. Yes, let me leave the house for your treasure. No. No. It is, it is, no. let, let's go back inside, okay? Come on. No, I want to go. Let, let's go inside. I want to go home. It's okay. okay. Come, okay. Man, let's go inside. Go home. It's easy. It's easy. Ah, let me leave Come the way. Okay. Tisha, uh, where are no, you? No, no, let me no. out this house. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Okay? It's easy. Mm. Just can go. Can. Don't worry, eh? Mm -hmm. In four, three years, you will get married to ten wives. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, uh, I've done my own part. It's okay. Let me go. It's easy, easy. I knew it. It was suspicious. The day you said that you came to this house, I was very suspicious. School teacher. From school teacher to housewife. Eh? Hey! Hey! Oh, I'm going to my room. Yeah, I'm even lucky to be alive. I don't talk like that. Let's it's my blindness. So you don't know where it's coming from. Not sure. How would we easy, know? Easy, easy, easy. Watch out. It's okay. In fact, Mama, I cannot give you all the details of the strange things that Esther, the kids, even the kids teacher have been experiencing this past few months. But what I've told you, Mama, is enough to make you understand how strange it has been. I am not surprised. I'm not. I've been passing through strange times these few months. I see my daughter in my dreams. I feel her presence in my room. Sometimes she cooks with me in my kitchen. Gloria's soul is not at rest at all. But why, Mama? Gloria was a good woman. Yes. She was murdered, my son. And most people that die like that never rest until the secret behind their death is exposed. Lord. Somebody just entered the show. Somebody's strange is in this room. Mama, you see? Eh? Who is this is what she does all the time. She's going crazy. Who entered this room, Esther? Who? Nora is in this room right now, Mama. Yeah. Why won't you see her? When you went and married her husband as soon as she died. Is that why she will not leave me alone, Mama? Eh, Gloria, is that leave me alone now, eh? Okay, I've left your husband's house for you. Leave me alone. What else does she want from me? Happen, no, man. 
Gloria, leave me. Mama, Mama, please now talk to your daughter. Please now. Gloria is not in this room. Mama, Gloria is in this room. I know what I am saying. Eh? Mama, I'm used to this sort of thing. I can feel her. I can feel her. I see it all the time. Mama, she's here. She's in this room right now. She's not here. She's not here. Tell her to leave me alone. I'm tired. Ya hapunu. Eh? Mama, she Leave me alone, no. Eh? Stop. Mama, please beg her for me now. Eh? Beg her for me now. Eh? Hey! Oh! Oh, she's here. She's still in this room. She's still in this room. I can still feel her. She's still. Thank you, Gloria. I greet you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Our in law. Welcome. Um, <clears throat> Esther, this has been the most difficult case the elders of this village have had to sit over in the Bay of Yes. Elders of Umulere, I mm. greet you. Thank you. Our in law, you are welcome. Ndinde mama. It's over. To say that the tight face of a he goat cannot prevent the owner from selling it. No. Esther, we, the elders of this village, have decided not to kill you. First, because of your mother. And secondly, because we are not in the days of old. But we have decided to punish you from this our village today. But Esther, before you go into exile, when the early cock crows at dawn tomorrow morning, the Amala men will strip you naked. That's right. Put omu leaves round your waist That's and right. drive you out of this village. Yes. That's what we do. That's better. She deserves it. Yes, we are no longer your fathers. And you are no longer our daughter. Go! Go away. Go away from us. If you see a husband, marry. We are not interested in your bride price. We don't want to see you again. We cannot harbor a killer. We cannot harbor a killer.
sent me. And make sure you come back for it. I will, I promise. Yeah. And take care of yourself. <laughs> I will. Bye bye. Yeah, Goodbye, bye. kids. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why are you that way? Do you think you're perfect? Yes? Junior!